Hello, thank you for choosing Fire Recovery USA for your cost recovery needs. Our integration with ESO allows you to seamlessly enter data in ESO and our API will extract your incident data and transfer that information into the Recovery Hub for Billing. In this video, I'll walk you through the data entry process for incident billing in ESO. You may select from your incident lists if you have a CAD interface, or you can manually add an incident in ESO. Under the incident information, please complete the required fields. Moving down to the aid section, you can enter aid given or received or leave that blank. Under the location information, again, if this data is loading from your CAD, this will be pre-populated. If you do not have a CAD interface, you will have to enter the incident location. And hit OK. Enter your property use. Enter your dispatch times. Enter your resources. If you, if you track loss information, enter your loss information. The most important information that fire recovery needs are the person and owner and the vehicle information. These two items need to be linked. First, we will add the person. If you have a phone number, please enter a phone number. We can select the same as incident if it's the same as incident, or if you need to enter their address, go ahead and enter their address. After you enter the person, hit OK. Then we'll add the vehicle information. Please enter the VIN, the plate, and the state. We're not concerned about when the license plate expires or the odometer. We can link the person involved here. So we want to click add. Since we already add a person or an owner, we want to click add here. Under the associated person, we need these linked and hit OK. This links the party to this, the insurance information. We will not have a claim number, insurance company name, If you have an insurance company phone number, please enter it. You can continue on to enter law enforcement information, occupant information, and supplies used if you have that information. If not, simply click OK. Now we have persons and owner information, we have the vehicle information, and we've linked those two things together. We have the report writer information. Go ahead and date and time stamp your report writer information. The officer in charge, member making report. All incidents in ESO must be quality control checked before the API sends that data to the recovery hub for billing. Please remember to quality control check the reports.
Lastly, it's very important to enter a proper narrative. Once the incident passes validation, go ahead and lock the incident. Our API will pick up this incident within three hours of this incident being complete and the record status locked. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our support line at 888-659-2249.